Well, Val finally did it. They joined the list of companies who raised our hopes high only to smash them like a Hulk who likes to teabag. Now, as many of you are probably wondering, why would they do this? I mean, seriously, you make Portal, Team Fortress, and this is what you give us for almost a decade of endless memes? A trading card game. Based on Dota. Freaking Dota! Let me put it this way, as to the reason why they just did this. Money. Is what many companies nowadays are bent on. False promises, and then trying to plan out series for a 10 year run. We all know how great those series go, right? Plus, coming up with new ideas can be hard for some. And many people usually get shifty eyed around the new IPs. Except if the company behind the IP made games that almost constantly won wards yearly. Looking at you, Valve. But there is one thing which a lot of companies do, and for God's sakes, I can't imagine why they just don't do this. Instead of cheap microtransaction spin offs or cash grabs, recycle cancelled games and their assets. Many games were cancelled in the past couple of years that would have drowned the companies in money if they just recycled the ideas. Hey, using old concepts and stuff for making games is an expected marketing strategy because blah de blah blah blah. And that's where you're wrong. Blizzard first had plans for a multiplayer online game where you created your own superhero called Project Titan. They developed it, looked at it, and it was even just, you know, dropped. They just dropped it for a while, even the team behind it. But then, after it looked like it was yet another idea that died during birth, they recycled it, and they made Overwatch from its ashes. And it's one of the most popular and played games from this and last year. Several YouTube channels are even now dedicated to everything Overwatch. It is an effective strategy. I mean, who wouldn't want a game like Fable Legends, where four people play as heroes and another plays as the villain? In this game concept, one person acts as the villain, shaping the lands with traps, monsters, obstacles, armies, whatever, and the heroes battle through it to get to the end. That's literally like a RPG game mixed with Mario Maker. I imagine if it was recycled, you could have a dungeon game with Final Fantasy VII Remake-like gameplay and graphics where the level was literally getting modified as you played it to counter your playstyle, Donge. Another game in similar style to the gameplay of League of Legends, where people are bound with spirit-like creatures who seek out those like them and give them incredible powers. The story to this was incredible, and even made the, had the comic partly made for it that it just kept me hooked till the very end. There is so much of this story that could be reused into something even more epic without even investing in a big team of writers. And who could forget the gameplay shown for Star Wars 1313? Epic Uncharted style gameplay sections? Playing as a bounty hunter against armies of enemies instead of an overpowered Jedi? I thank God when games have this level of awesome in them. And this one was still just being developed. LMNO was a game being made by the help of the man who made Jurassic Park, Steven Spielberg. In this game, you'd play as someone who was trying to protect an alien named Eve growing closer to it while having intense parkour scenes and gameplay. The main thing behind this game was to see if a computer game could literally make almost anyone who played it cry. It was that emotionally driven. Not doing it for you? Imagine a game like Life is Strange, but with parkour gameplay along with the deep story. Scalebound. Freaking Scalebound. An epic hack and slash with a freaking dragon by your side, a giant freaking monsters, a 
that you could even do freaking multiplayer against and even freaking jump on the colossal bosses to beat them up with freaking wubs in the background. There was so much you could recycle this for. I'm not even going to mention the possibilities for a Half-Life 3 game or a Portal sequel. Don't believe me still that recycling a game could be good. Okay, just from these concepts. Imagine an FPS game where you play as a group of mercs assigned to do various missions for factions. Starting out with your very own team, then growing it as you play the missions. Missions could be based around infiltrating bases of various factions, and completing your missions could be done in a variety of ways. You could use magic to create portals, either opening up attack routes for your group, or using stealth and parkour to bypass guards, unlock doors, sabotage the base. Fighting guards would be like fighting in Half-Life while using a portal gun to get the advantage against multiple opponents. All the while, the enemy faction is building up at their base, making colossal boss monsters, rooms with traps, puzzles, guards, even specialized artillery for the outside. The list could just go on. If the bounty hunters win, they'd be able to loot the villain's lair, even get to use his or her gear to upgrade their assets. If the villain wins, they'd grow in power, gain more control in the region, and unlock more stuff to make their next encounter even harder and even more awesome. Engaging gameplay, unique use of and play of previous assets, lots of games could be used to make this stuff happen. Please. Like and share this video so that more people can see this. And maybe even let the game company see this. Lots of game assets could be used from old cancelled games to make really epic titles. Titles which we as gamers you know want instead of a goddamn trading card game. Why a trading card game? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's something that I've been wanting to get off my chest for a while. And, as always, what do you guys think in the comments? What do you think would be an epic uh, game that could have been recycled to make something even more awesome? And until next time, dear viewers, see ya.